Hey Sencom. So this will be a video for showing you how to add products. How to add products into this WooCommerce website web shop. So let's go to the dashboard. This is custom hobby decals dashboard. We add product by going into products, add product. All right, once we are here, once we are here, we write title in this top part, top section, which is selected. Like I wrote now, sample title. When we write title, we add description of this product we add it here so here goes full description in this six in this section below product short description goes short description I'm gonna show you which content is shown where in one of the products which are already added let's visit uh, I don't know let's say uh, scrolls and pinstripes Let's open one product. So, basically, this is product full description. This, underneath this section, this is full description. Then that is the content that is to be added here. The content that goes here below this title, and I'm not sure whether it's above this. Uh, price cost or below but that section is right here so if if I add something here it would be shown below or above this cost I, I don't recall now where would it definitely be but I think it's under this title that's short description in general this short description should add as less information as possible so only some main main info and whole description goes below meaning here when we did this we have to select a category product category in which this product will be placed so we select category add tags Then, then we have to add product image by selecting set product image. Here we set a main product image and under product gallery, add product gallery images, we set all other images. On this example, this is a main image and these four below are from the gallery. All right, so after we add images, product image and product gallery images, we go to set up options in this product. So currently is product data is selected as simple product, but this probably won't be a simple product, but it will be a variable product. We select variable product and we, we got some new options here. So we write our SQ. SQ goes here. We select these options whether we want uh, to manage stock and such. We set shipping options here. We can link some products here. I'm not sure what it's for. And then we have attributes. So if our product, let's say t shirt, I'm going to call this product t t-shirt so this sample product I'm gonna put shirt because it's easy to explain on shirt example because shirt has two let's say two attributes of course it can have a more more attributes but I'm gonna add two first attribute will be size 
I'm gonna click use for variations and I'm gonna add sizes S with this with this uh, paragraph I don't know how to call it we separate separate options from size so on product there will be a size drop-down menu shown and under drop-down is this S M XL X, XL of M large. So this product has a, now attribute size with five values. This size attribute has five values. All right, we can save it. I'm gonna add one more custom product attribute now. That attribute will be named color. color. Let's say this t shirt comes in blue, red, blue, and red. That's enough. And I'm gonna click again use for variations and I'm gonna save attributes once again. Alright, once it's saved, we're gonna go to variations in variations tab we need to click create variations from all attributes and click go and we're gonna agree with this we can see 10 variations were added why are there there 10 variations because there are five values from the, the size and there are two values from the color and if you multiply two by five we get ten sub products uh, I mean variations of this product uh, bear in mind that these create variations from all attributes can create only 50 variations at a time so if, if there are many attributes uh, like size color I don't know um, scale and such and if we have much values in those attributes we have to click create variations from all attributes multiple times so we click it once it will be wrote here 50 variations added we click OK then we click it again create variations from more attributes and it will, it will again create the, the ones that aren't created already so you can click it create variations from all attributes until you got like some random number that's not 50 written in here then you will know that you added all variations of the, that product in this sample we got 10 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 click all right all right here we can see now there are 10 variations of this product so if me or you want to buy a shirt with s size and blue color it can be different price sale price or regular price than the shirt with m size and blue m size and blue can have different different description different size different weight different different options which you set up here this variation product can, can have different SQ as well so basically you have from one product with two attri true attributes with number of values you got more and more variations of this product and you can set set it individually manually one by one let's say if you want to add regular product on S blue options we click here a regular price two two dollars or let's say twenty dollars if I click save publish only this product will have the regular price of twenty dollars if I add on S size but red color bear in mind this is blue for red color if user selects S and red the cost if I set here 50 would be 50 for him so I hope it's, it's really simple 
when you get to know this system so but if you want to let's say have same regular price for all these variations of a product like you wanted uh, a day or two ago we have to click we can minimize this we click here on this drop down and we select set regular prices when we set select set regular prices we click go on go it will ask us to enter our value if we enter 20 here 20 bucks 20 dollars i mean 20 dollars cost will be added to all these variations of a product so all these variations of a product will have the same regular price there are different options for this I cancel this because there is no need I explained to you there are more and more products for this uh, I mean options bear in mind that clicking on this will always always include all these variations you don't have to select them or anything it will automatically be selected for done for all these variations so you want, if I want to set a sale price for these products I'm gonna I'm gonna click set sell price click go and set the price I want and it will be added on all these variations of a product so basically that's it from variations again here default form values is when the user client comes to the page to the product page let's say to this shirt if I select the here M and blue automatically M and blue will be default with selected values on that product if there's no default size no default size or color would be selected there but in this case if I select S and blue and visit this product S and blue will be selected of course we can then change to whatever else we want to again variations and attributes if we want a simple product without these variations we simply select simple product and here basically you know everything we set regular price sell price whether we want a discount here we have attributes as well for this simple product I'm not exactly sure uh, what the purpose of attributes in a simple product but here they are I haven't tested it so I can't explain in detail about this but those are the options of adding uh, a product if we go and edit one of the products that are all that is already entered like let's say Serbian Air Force MiG we click edit and here we have options uh, category product category selected here there are some tags there is some description default description of course here are variations of a product here are attributes there are four attributes here with different values here is short description and here are images and product gallery images so that's it for this part